Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate ServiceNow with Microsoft Teams. First things first, we have to create an account at servicenow.com or log into our existing account. If you're familiar with ServiceNow, you know that uh, the fastest way how we can make this integration work is through third-party app. I chose automate.eo and I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are at uh, automate.eo, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we click uh, on integrations, let's go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Once we are uh, at app integration, uh, at those categories that we just clicked, we want to write down the first app that we want to integrate with, which will be in our case ServiceNow. Uh, once the ServiceNow is integrated, we want to go to the opposite side and we want to go and write down Microsoft Teams. Once we are here, as you can see, there are some popular integrations that we can uh, straight away use uh, as integration, like add a record in ServiceNow on a new channel message in Microsoft Teams, for example. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can uh, create your own integration. Just remember, uh, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with a new record or record update. Simply, you want to start with a service now. So I'm going with the first one. And on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with Microsoft Teams. So I'm sticking to the first one, for example. Now all we have to do is click the right now button and we'll get redirected to sign up page of automate.eo. So you just need to log in or register your new account and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use appear.com, uh, which is quite uh, a similar app to automate. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we need to also create an account, go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create zap, the black button. We want to start with a trigger as well here. So we are going to write down service now. We are picking service now. There's only one option for trigger event. So we have to click continue. Now we have to sign in to service now account. Now on the second action, as you probably thought, we want to go with Microsoft Teams. We also need to create uh, an action event. So let's stick to the first one, continue. And the last thing is sign in to Microsoft Teams. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.